Hellfire Peninsula is one of the few surviving regions of Draenor. It is a pivotal staging point of Outland. It is here where the Dark Portal leads. As its name implies, Hellfire Peninsula is a grim place. The landscape is a twisted mess of battle scars, dressed in the smoking wreckage of old wars. The atmosphere is thin, and the twisting nether's twilight is visible alongside not-so-distant worlds. It is though the sky itself has been shattered. Those who travel by foot through Hellfire Peninsula note bones cracking beneath their boots. These would belong to the countless Draenei, slaughtered in ages past by the blood-crazed orcs. Even to this day, the remains of the orcs' victims litter the blood-red soil. Years after the orcs' failed invasion, the Alliance attempted to bring war to this land. The orcish warlock, Ner'zhul, willingly tore the planet asunder with fell energy rather than see his world fall into enemy hands. This was Draenor's apocalypse. What remained of the world was left to float through the void, known forevermore as Outland. For decades, it was thought that the Alliance forces of Hellfire Peninsula were lost when the world fell. However, their principal base of operations, Honor Hold, remained standing its residents taking on refugees from the doomed expedition. When the portal reopened, Stronghold Commander Danith Trollbane welcomed a newly arrived Alliance army into his beleaguered keep. With the aid of Stormwind, Ironforge, and Nethergord, Honor Hold went back on the offensive against Hellfire's orcs for the first time in 26 long years. Their primary contention is the Fell Horde, who hold an overwhelming portion of Hellfire Peninsula's expansive territory. In the center of the region stands the Orc's impenetrable fortress, Hellfire Citadel. Under direction of their war chief, Cargath Bladefist, the Citadel was long believed to be a staging ground for military operations. While this is accurate for the Hellfire Ramparts, Halls, and Blood Furnace, a darker truth lurks deeper underground. Locked away deep in the belly of Hellfire, the greater demon Magtheridon is kept shackled in agony, perpetually on the brink of death as his corrupted blood is drained away to empower the orcish armies led by Outland's new master, Illidan Stormrage. <laughs> The future is mine. From this moment on, Outland and all of its denizens will bow to me. Illidan's orcish forces are consumed with a literal bloodlust, their hulking bodies twisted with sprouting horns and burning eyes. Outside the Citadel, these orcs occupy the ruins of their old territories, which presumably fell into disuse for a time, following the world's shattering. Those unfamiliar to the politics of Outland may be surprised to learn that the fell orcs wage war not only against Azeroth's armies, but also the Burning Legion. The fell orcs serve no master but Illidan. In service to him, the last of the old horde has finally turned its back on the Dark Masters who led their bloodline to this ruin. But not all orcs in the peninsula are cursed with demon blood. The town of Thralmar was recently founded by Thrall's new horde and led by the chief of security, Nazgrel. Along with the blood elf settlement of Falcon Watch, Thralmar serves as an integral part of the horde operations within all of Outland. Furthermore, the Maghar, orcs who have always shied away from demon worship, still hold out in one simple village on the very crest of Hellfire Peninsula. 
hinting that more of their kind still survive deeper within Outland. The Horde, the Alliance, Illidan, and the Burning Legion all wage war over the degrading ruins of this fractured world. Hellfire Peninsula is the staging ground for this conflict. Lines are drawn in blood as each faction consolidates its power, ready to take or to break the crown of Outland.